Welcome back everyone. It's October 28th. Uh, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm headed out into the woods here. Um, it's been a rough couple last few days here. Didn't think I was going to be able to get out this week at all. Um, I let a buddy shoot my Matthews bow the other day and something happened. Somehow he dry fired it and the string came off the cams. Uh, ended up breaking a mod. So I was heartbroken and in shock. Didn't know what I was going to do. Took my bow into the shop. Hopefully they could get it fixed within a couple days. And they're like, it's going to be a week to two weeks before it's fixed. So then of course I was heartbroken. Didn't know if I was going to be able to get it out at all. Um, but I called a buddy and he's a buddy that I had sold my previous bow to uh, three, four years ago and asked him if he still had it. Thankfully he did um, and he had not had it set up to him or changed anything on the bow uh, over the past couple of years. So I was able this morning to go and pick it up and that's what I'm going to be using. So I shot this bow for a lot of years prior to buying my Matthews and it never let me down then. So I was able to find my old arrows, which are sticking out here on my back, um, that I had still for this bow. Got here to the farm, uh, shot it about a dozen times. It's still sighted and even after all that time. So I'm happy. I got a bow to hunt with. Um, I'm going to be limited on shot distance now just because this bow is set up a little differently and uh, a little lighter draw weight and everything. So we're going to head back and see what we can make happen. Uh, we had a huge cold front move in uh, this morning, last night. Um, deer were moving everywhere while I was at work last night. So hopefully the trend continues. It's the end of October, almost November, and you guys know what that means. So the rut's right around the corner. So hopefully the bucks get up on their feet, start moving. So, all right, so most of the stand, um, walking right here on the lane, and uh, this is what I find. Small scrape. Looks like it's been a day or two before or the last time that the deer's been in here uh just based on we got rain about a day day and a half ago and they haven't been opened up since uh you can still see where the rain had fallen in there but i mean 10 feet away here's another one so that's a good sign um these two scrapes are 20 yards from where we're hunting. Uh, right behind that pine tree is a crown blind on a tower stand platform. And that's what we're gonna be hunting out of tonight. So, don't know, based on those scrapes, it doesn't look like it's a huge buck, but we'll see. Um, it'd be nice to have an encounter with anything. So, we'll get all settled in and see what happens. there's more deer right in this area. I mean, it's 20 after one and 
that deer's out there feeding on acorns right now. So uh, I need to get in here, get set up in case something else comes. So stay tuned. So I just got in here, got all the windows open. I don't even have the camera set up yet. There's a buck at 40 yards rubbing a tree right now. I'm gonna try to get a little video off him here and then try to get the camera set up.
activity this afternoon after that book came through. Had two nubs, two nub bugs being under me for an hour and a half. No does. No other bugs other than that. So, had that big group of turkeys come through. The bearded hand in there, which is pretty cool to see. But, game plan is to come back here and sit the same spot tomorrow morning. A similar wind, so it should be alright. We'll see how everything plays out.